Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd continue on with showing you what I have in my collection, all the different cha characters. No, not characters. Categories, there's the word. Oh, seriously, today is just like a non-starter. I'd planned so much to do, but my sinuses are kicking off again, yay. Literally, all last year, all 2020, I was lucky if I got a month or two months before my next sinus infection. I've had this, that, and the next thing of nasal sprays, antibiotics, it's just ongoing. And I think this is why I get such redness here as well. Which one? And please ignore my gross lips. They're like peeling and sore and ugh. Anyway, I was going to put makeup on so that I'd look nice for the video, but you'll just have to put up with me the way I look. So what I've done is I'm going to do my MAC lipsticks separately. And I thought, I actually have a shit ton of lipsticks, but I really don't. So I've put my other non-MAC ones into this little benefit bag here. So I'm going to get pins and needles on my feet. I can feel it already. Probably not close lovely sunflowers about. Okay, so I've got wipes here so that if I want to swatch them, then I can do that. So put a wipe there. So let's just get started. I've just taken some painkillers. So hopefully they'll kick in soon. So the first thing I have is this colour pop. Packaging's gorgeous, isn't it? This is the Colourpop Luxe Lip Oil in the shade Gen Zen. I'll maybe put a bit of this on, actually. This is just, as you can see, do you know what, actually? The lighting ain't bad in here. <laughs> so, it's this sort of light pinky colour. There's a slight iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see that. And as it says, it's a lip oil. And I just thought... I would get one of those to try. It doesn't smell of anything. And as you can see, it's just like glossy and oily. I might actually keep this out because it's maybe what my lips are needing. Okay, then I have got this Bobbi Brown lipstick. Now, Bobbi Brown, I don't even know how many years it would be, maybe five years ago. I'm not sure, but you know how brands bring out Christmas collections? So one Christmas, it must have been five, I don't know, even maybe longer years ago, they had a eyeshadow set with lipsticks, like in the bottom drawer part. And my friend at the time, I say at the time because, yeah, okay, I went and got me it. And one of the shades in it that I absolutely loved was called, sorry if I'm twitchy today, I just the anxiety um was called blue raspberry and basically after using that i went and purchased the two big ones and it was the creamy creamy lips i think it was called right so i was watching hannah martin who is used to be the bb pro professional makeup artist for bobby brown now she's just freelance and she said they've brought out reformulated ones so this is blue raspberry, but it's in the crushed lip colour instead of it being the creamy lip colour. I don't know if they do that anymore. So it's in this gorgeous packaging. Oh, a bit of fluff on there. And this is the shade. It is absolutely stunning. So I'll give it a swatch for you. It's just such a nice formula. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so nice. Seems to be better if I hold my hair. So I absolutely love this shade. So there is that one. I might have to take these out of the pouch, might be easier. Then I have this colour pop. This is just a tint, all the writing starting to come off it. And this is in the shade the strand. And I think this is guava scented. Oh, it smells so good. Does anybody else think that guava and mango smell like sweat? Or is that just me? Anyway, this is the colour of them. And again, it's just a really nice 
sort of mauvey berry tone and this is like it just glides on as you can see it's pretty sheer but it's so nice obviously matte lipsticks are going to be longer lasting but see when you've got lips like mine that crack and they've got lots of lovely lines because I'm getting older I do prefer these but so they're there's that and these sort of things are great for just a bit of something with colour particularly if you've got super super dry lips the next one I got in a beauty box this is no makeup lipstick by Pericone MD and does it have a shade name it doesn't seem to have a shade name so this is what it looks like and again, see how it's gone white like that, people? Can any of you tell me what that means? Like, does it mean that I, it's gone off or something? Because it smells lovely. It smells like vanilla and what have you, but... And it's they're stored really well, you know, I keep... So this is it here. As you can see, it's a very sheer wash of colour. It smells divine. But, like, see how it's got that white cast to it? Should I be throwing it out? Let me know, please. I hate throwing things out. Okay, the next one is another Bobbi Brown one. And this is... It looks exactly the same. Because, obviously, they are both crushed lip colours. But this blue raspberry one, I'm not sure if it's just limited. So, so this one is in the shade Babe. So that's what this one looks like and as you can see it's more a ready pinky kind of tone to it so it's, that's it there lovely you can see a theme with the colors can't you I'm running out of space in that hand so we'll grab our little wipe it's like only the back of two and it's starting to get dark already Guys, I'm getting such bad habits. Like, college isn't going to... It starts next week online until, I think, God knows when. So, because I was, I'm out of a routine with it, because the earliest class that I ever had was at nine in the morning. Other than that, my classes start, like, mid-afternoon to nighttime. I've just got into such a bad habit of going to bed at the early hours of the morning and then getting up at like lunchtime. It's not good. And my last Bobby Brown one is this one, and this is the lip, it just says lip colour, and this is incarnation number 12. Excuse me. I'm not really sure what drew me to this colour. Well, has it got a white cast in it too? No. But this is the colour of it. And I will just swatch a little bit for you. And that is the shade there. So, I mean, it's not pink. It's not nude. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a... I don't know. It's almost like get a, a, an orangey undertone to it, I suppose. But yes, this is Carnation. Itchy ears. My one really bougie one is this Chanel one. Now I bought this because I love Anna Sacconi, who is part of the Sacconi Jolie family. If you don't know about her, we're reviewing, love her. And she wore this one. I don't even know if you can still get it. So I picked it up. And it is 162 Pensive Book. Ah, uh, bougie. I love Chanel and I, I just don't care. So it is a lovely nude colour and it is absolutely stunning. Look at that. And again, it's just a nice sheer lipstick and I love it so very much. 
What have we got next? Okay, I have one Colourpop lipstick. Now, I saw the lovely Jessica Trant, who is a makeup artist and a YouTuber eh, from Fife in Scotland. And she had this on, and my sister, and I was like, what's that colour? And she was like, it's Colourpop's. What's your sign? So, of course, I bought it. Now, it says it's a cream lipstick. Nah. This is so drying on my lips anyway, it's so drying. But this is the component, and as you can see, it's like rose gold with little stars on it. Really cute. Oh. And this is the colour again, it's sort of a brownie nude, and it's got the little stars. Do you see that embossed in the lipstick? But it, I find it so drying. So that's the shade there. It's it's lovely. But I don't think it's cream. I think it's matte on me personally. Let me know what you think if you've got any of them. Okay, and then I have got two little YSL ones. They're like cute that I got not for Christmas there, but the Christmas and birthday before, like in a perfume set. So there's this little one. I don't think it says what it is though, like shade wise. No, it doesn't. I love YSL. Oh, see the smell of their stuff it's like watermelon so it's this kind of color whoa look at that like a hot pink but this one's a very sheer lipstick but still look so it's like that barbie kind of pink but it's love it it's just so cute <laughs> and then there is this little one I don't know if this says names or it just says zero one on it. And this is a lovely red colour, which is perfect for any time, but also oh, it smells amazing. Just make me want to eat it. So that's the red there. But it's like a pinky red, like when you see it there, but see when it's on, see how it's got kind of like a pink undertone to it. So there's that. It's probably stained my hand. So imagine if I was putting all this on my lips and then having to take it off. I haven't even done my skincare today. I've just got last night's skincare on and you tan and tone. Um thing me spray. Tan and spray. And then I have two of these. These are my favourite kind of YSLs. These are the Volupte Shine. Rouge Volupte Shined. I got this one here in number eight. It's rubbed off, but this is in number eight. Oh, it still smells delicious. And it's well used, as you can see. And again, these are like really sort of sheer, balmy lipsticks. Like, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. They're so nice on the lips. I highly recommend these to everyone. When I first ever, the first ever thing I got from YSL was the Touche Clat, like years ago before I ever even did YouTube. It was okay. And then me and my friend Dawn, she'd never been into makeup. And then we got into makeup. And of course, Dawn being Dawn, she went for complete high end. And we both got a lip gloss. I think it was number 55. And it was like a pink with like gold glitter in it. And we, we just loved it. And we, we got so many of them. I don't even know if they do it now. And then I moved on to these. So that was that. And then this one is number 44. This is really popular. Like, you can hardly ever get them. Excuse me. So this is number 44. So it's more of a mauve kind of pink tone. Oh, I just love them. They smell so fresh and amazing. So that one's a lot lighter this one but oh my god I absolutely I love them and I think they're worth the price and next I have got oh, in the door. I do did have definitely these might be the same colour more I did have more of the mini um bare minerals ones but I gave a couple away and I sold some, but I kept my favourites, of course. So the first up is this one, which is XOX. I love this. This is my favourite shade. So again, it's like a pinky, peachy, mauve, Julie colour. That's it there. Stunning. 
absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if you can get them in like full size or if it's just for those little mini sets that I got, but so good. And then this one is called Crave. And this is, it looks the same. <laughs> but it is a different tone. It's, you know, they're similar. But this is like, what can I say? These are just the colours that I love. So that's all my lipsticks that are not a MAC. So, yeah, I have a few. But I don't have as many as I first thought because I was thinking the other night and I was like right this is ridiculous I need to start downsizing and stuff but yeah so if you like this video please click the like button subscribe to my channel click the bell button to be notified when I upload I will leave in the iCard for you my current running international giveaway for when I hit 2k subscribers so please 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 especially if you're watching and you're not subscribed just subscribe and ain't no that giveaway because you could win lots of lovely goodies. And I will see you in the next one. And I'll probably be in the same outfit because I'm going to film another one straight after this. Bye!